what's up everyone uh been a while since the update been uh, out of town for a bit uh just wanted to show a couple uh, new things that i've done so far uh one of them is i bought this bus it's uh got it off ebay don't remember the brand it's a ritzke r-i-e-t-z-e -E. it's a real nice bus need to still put some people in it and uh, I was going to build a uh, bus stop right where that's at. Just still got to go and get it. Uh, the other thing I've done is I bought these uh, the vending machines off a, a guy on eBay along with the ice machine. Um, actually really nice. I'm sure they're pretty simple to build, but you know, I'm just too lazy to do it. And, you know, I think it was only like five or six bucks for Four of them. I put some here and then a couple over at my uh, engine facility. And then uh, I also bought the, uh, the ice machine from them as well. The other thing I bought was uh, I bought the Walther's uh, Grill and Chill. And uh, it's actually a really nice kit. It goes together real easy. Uh, it's just kind of a pain to paint it all just because you have to do multiple, multiple colors. And you've got the orange, the white, the black, the beige, and then the, the darker brown. Luckily, all these panels, like this one, this one, and these are all removable, so you can paint them ahead of time and then assemble it afterward. Um, and the only thing I did was I just used a sharpie and uh, did the roof so it looks like panels. I still got to put ACs and all that other stuff. And then in one of the pictures that I saw, it had this top railing. So I added the top railing and then I also added the, uh, the ladder going up the rear there. Just trying to give it some more details. So it's going to end up over here in the, uh, in this parking lot. So what's going to, what's going to happen is over here, there's going to be a drive through. So it's going to come around the backside, uh, down here, there's actually going to be another parking island, some parking stalls, um, So this overall scene, you have the parking island right here. You have some parking stalls up front. Uh, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the rest of it back there. The other thing I was thinking is uh, in this area, Summit makes a uh, Arco. That's a half gas station. You could probably put up against uh, the wall here because the road is going to continue going straight and then I'm just starting to uh, put some sidewalk down. I haven't glued it down yet. Um, some of the other stuff I got was uh, I bought these uh, the newspaper stands. They're a uh, photo etched material Something, uh, I think it's Classic Miniatures makes it. Um, and it comes with the uh, the decals and everything. It's a nice little kit. There's two of them. There's this one here. And then there's this one here. The only thing I added was uh, put a phone booth in front of uh, the Taco Bell. Started on this scene a little bit more. Finally put some uh, fencing up. Just gotta do the uh, the scenery through here. Probably do that here in the next couple days. On the narrow gauge, I bought some uh, JTT trees. These are the pine trees. I think the two and the three inch so I put them here in this scene, and then 
I put some down in this scene as well. And then the last one that's over there. Not bad trees. Kind of pricey if you were to build a forest with them. But up in the front, you know, they look pretty good. Nothing else has really changed over here. I don't remember if this was in my last update. It's the Oilton Saloon. It's pretty much done. <coughs> I just gotta uh, paint the uh, the boards here. And the way I did it is this is still removable. And I drilled those into uh, the base itself and using wire to stick these in so that uh, I could still remove if I want to add an interior or lights. Um, that's pretty a uh, pretty neat kit. It's a Banta. It can be kind of a pain putting together. They're not as easy as a like an AMB laser. And the rest of my town here. And the Silverton station. And the last thing that I put in here just today was I put a street lamp in here. These are the same ones that I've ordered off of eBay. They come with the uh, the mini uh, LED in there. And what I've been using, which I just ordered as well, are these voltage reducing circuits open it up here so what it is it's an adjustable circuit they're DC to DC you can see the uh, potentiometer so that's what you just put a screwdriver in and they take voltage from I believe it's like <coughs> pretty much any volt up to 18 volts and it's got dual inputs you can see it there so you're it's really simple to put in so you just put your negative in your negative or your positive in and then your uh, this is the voltage coming out um, so if you don't want to deal with uh, uh, soldering resistors and all that these are the way to go I bought them off of uh, eBay they're a dollar a piece. They come out of China. <coughs> I'll see if I can find uh, where they actually came from. But uh, that's the manufacturer that I got them from. And uh, like I said, I bought 10 of them. So it's 10 bucks. I think it was even free shipping. Um, they come in these nice static bags. And uh, I think the power, yeah, it's multiple amps. It's like one amp or two amps, so they can power a lot of LEDs. Um, I've used them for other projects too, for uh, automotive stuff, which you need to step voltage down on. Um, I don't know if this was included. It's a Grantline wheel car finished this a while ago um, that's about it there's not much else the next uh, projects I have coming up is I still have one of these uh, gondolas to make they're the Grantline kits they take a lot of work so that's why I've been kind of putting it off. But, and, and then there's this area. I gotta go buy more styrene either today or next couple days to finish this area out. That way I can uh, put the parking lot in. And then I bought a bunch of the, uh, the double 
lamps like these, but they're double, so I can put them in the uh, parking lot. But I have to buy uh, some styrene circles or some tubes to uh, make like a concrete base so that they stick up like they do in parking lots. So other than that, if you have any questions or anything, just kind of post them.